A Jacksonville mom says her daughter lost an eyebrow and was cut in the face while riding home on the school bus. She says her daughter was attacked by another student and claims that this was not the first time the first incident with her daughter in this particular student. Nick Perot is on your side investigating. I'm still livid. Olivia Guerrero says starting in February, her daughter's bullying with another student was verbal. When it turned physical, she reached out to the assistant principal at Jacksonville Heights Elementary. I felt that they were taking care of it because they were saying they were documenting it and they were going to try to get um, counseling going. So internally, I felt okay. But then when it got to be aggressive and I saw how everything planned out, I was like, this is not okay. Something, there's miscommunications going on. Guerrero says over the next few weeks, her daughter was pulled out of the classroom by counselors and the assistant principal to talk about bullying, but said it still continued. The worst, Guerrero's daughter said, was in early March. Tony said she took one look at me, went to her backpack, and came and tried to cut my face and hair off. Guerrero posted this picture to social media after frustrations that she learned the district did not have video on the school bus and wondered how the bullying got to this point. She emailed the assistant principal and principal again. It was weird how once I posted how I felt what happened to my daughter, then all of a sudden things are coming out of the woodworks and it shouldn't be like that. Guerrero received this letter acknowledging other bullying reports had been made and that her daughter will have the option to go to another school. The trust started to crumble when the principal said she had no idea this was going on. It shouldn't be to the point to where there's physical abuse with a weapon for you guys to open your eyes. The school district told us if a parent is concerned with any actions in the school, they can directly reach out to the principal. There is a designated person on school grounds that manage disciplinary issues, which is usually the assistant principal in elementary schools. And if you still have concerns, you can elevate that to the regional superintendent. And that was Nick Perot reporting tonight. So you may be wondering why JSO was not involved. Well, according to that mother, she says she contacted JSO to file charges against the student following this incident. Now, since Guerrero's daughter and the accused student gave conflicting reports of what they say happened, the investigation was waiting on the bus video before moving forward. Again, that video was not produced, citing that day that it had been recorded over for a lack of memory on the bus system.